Whoever hits disgusts himself with the lips and harbor deceits in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed. His wickedness will be exposed in the public or in the assembly. First John 2, 11, But whosoever hit his brother is in the darkness and walk in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Let us pray. And so, Father, we thank you. Daddy, we bless you. As we commend this series, oh God, we pray that you will speak through our clear lips. Speak through this mother body, oh God, that your people will be refreshed. Your people will be, oh God, encouraged. They will be, oh God, broken. And uh, Father, life will be transformed. Healing will take place. Father, we pray for those hearts that are being, oh God, attacked with the spirit of, oh God, deception, the spirit of hate or hatred. We pray, Lord, that by the end of this series, oh God, they will find peace. They will find rest. They will find healing. They will find a loving heart and a loving spirit. We bless you, Lord. We even pray for our brethren and our sisters on, oh God, the social media. We commit them into your hands, Lord. We pray that you will reach out there to their hearts and their mind and their spirit. Let the people of God say amen. amen. Let the people of God say amen. amen. Somebody shout his name. Jesus! I was speaking with one of my old time friends a couple of weeks ago. And from one thing to another, he brought a story, which of course had to do with this message. So when I thought about bringing a passage, a package, I included this message, uh, this, this, the history into this package. In fact, I was thinking for, uh, for this series is called, I refuse to see hate lay while love dies. Thank you, neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I refuse. I to see hit lay while love dies. While love dies. Shout for glory. Glory. Okay, also, I want you to hold this boss my back then. If I, I'm about to move around. The subtopic, the topic we'll be speaking on today, that is the main topic, but it's the one we'll be speaking on today is don't let Mr. Hit enter your car. Amen. Don't let Mr. Hit what? Enter no your car. Your car is not meant for Mr. Heat. No Somebody say amen. amen. Your life is not meant for Mr. Heat. No your house is not meant for Mr. Heat. No your family is not meant for Mr. Heat. No Don't let Mr. Heat enter your life. Don't let him enter your car. Don't let him enter your family. Don't let him enter your, 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 your gathering. Somebody say amen. amen. So this, my friend, as I told you just many ago, that uh, over two weeks I met a friend, one of my old time friends, and he was explaining to me about some pastor of his life. And he said to me, oh, Pastor, uh, when I was one year old, I can remember when I was one year old, uh, back in the days when there were no uh, seat belt, uh, my father and myself were driving to the, uh, going on a vacation. My wife, my mother was in the front seat while my father was driving. Nobody was in the back seat. And while we were driving, uh, I was in my mother's hand because there was no uh, seat belt. And at that time, there was nothing like, uh, we never had anything like uh, a baby, baby seat and other stuff and thing. Somebody say amen. amen. So I was in my mother's hand at the, at the age of one year old. My mother reminded me with the story, told me about it again. And she told me that while I was in my uh, in her hand, and, 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 and I began to cry, and she nursed me back to uh, uh, to help, and I, and, and I began to, uh, I, I began to fall to, to sleep a little bit. In that process, my father was driving on the highway, like you you, you driving from, from, Philadelphia, from Philadelphia to Maryland. While on the highway, he, there was a guy standing on the highway, stopping for uh, cars to, uh, you know, to get him lift. And my father pulled over and stopped for this guy. My mother was very angry with him, but my mother did not know what he was doing. But uh, uh, by the time he pulled out and asked the man to come in, my mother got so mad, but she could not say a word because she didn't want to bring any interruption or any to make him look small before the person. So she kept her silent. 
And he said, uh, 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 sir, where are you going? He said, oh, I, I'm going to the next town there. Just uh, about uh, 10 minutes away. He said, oh, but you are not, uh, that's my car. Come in, come on in. Now, the father took this guy in because he wanted to get help to the guy. He said, God, on the road looking for help. But in that time, or during that time, there were several, not several, but three people that were killed at a gas station. Hallelujah. By an unknown person who went to three different gas stations on three different occasions, one of them trying to rob those people, and he killed three, three different uh, 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 person that was servicing at the gas station. So, it was all around the news that they are looking for uh, uh, somebody is on the run. Who is killing, uh, killing people? And now the father has pulled over. The mother is mad. This man may be, you know, the same person that we're looking for. But she kept her, her, her kept it cool. Then the guy entered the car. He spoke to him high. Then uh, he entered the car. The father said, my name is so-and-so. The mother said, my name is so-and-so. And they said, but what's your name? He said, my name is Mr. Hate. Right there. The mother said the place she was, her heart was, I wanted to jump out of her in Jesus' name. Mr. Hate. Hallelujah. When well, we're looking for someone, uh, we are looking, I'm going to look for someone who is killing my ankle. It's a head. But she could not say anything. He entered there. And then the next thing, he, uh, uh, he, he, he spotted the baby sitting, uh, uh, laying on the, the mother, the, uh, the mom, uh, 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 lap. And he, and he said, oh, that's a nice, baby, a beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 baby that day. Is he a boy or a girl? So it's a boy. So okay, that's good. What is his name? And he said, a conversation. Then he had bent over. When he bent over, she was kind of shaking him up and in uh, herself. What did God want to do to us? But then after a few minutes, his destination came. And he said, this is my place. And then he left. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Hill was not allowed to stay in a car. Because Mr. Hill is dangerous. He's, very, he's still very destructive. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So if you have Mr. Ed in your car, it's time to let it go. Yes. It's time to pull over and pull it aside. Yes. It's time to tell him that you have reached your destination. You need to get off. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. You have reached your destination. It's time to get what? Ah. Now what is hit or hatred? What is hit or hatred? Are we taking my time a little bit because I want you to grab some, some stuff here today? Hatred is a feeling. That can cause anger. Hatred is a feeling that can cause what? Anger. It can also cause resentment. It is a resentful emotional response. It causes a, a, a resentful emotional response. The response we are having from one kind of a state to another state is what we call a what? A resentful response. Emotional resentful what? Respond, hallelujah, amen. because of a young black man being killed. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say glory. glory. All right, okay. Which can be used against certain people or idea. Hatred is the way of weapon our fear of something by eliminating it. When somebody is is hateful or somebody has hatred in them they want to reach a place that they will eliminate whatever they have set before them to make them angry hallelujah Amen. and so we see from history to history we see the white after the blacks in this nation with racism it's because there is something in the black that have compared them to continue Making sure that you eliminate. Somebody say amen. amen. Shout glory. glory. Somebody shout glory. glory. Now, hatred is often associated with fear of anger. It's associated with disgust. Disposition towards, towards the source of our hostility. Hatred is related to the feeling of our anger. 
you will not only be angry, but you'll be disgusted about you are disgusted about the situation. Then your disposition change. Instead of being a peaceful person, now you become what? A violent person. Because you can't take it anymore. They have abused you over the over. And you can't take it anymore. So your disposition now is anger. And anger has brought you to the place of looting. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Looting whatever you see and whatever around you because it's, it, it's been too much inside of you. You cannot sit on it anymore. So to express it, you express it in anger. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hit three. Now, let me do this step. According to psychology, it says hatred is, or hate is a ground, it is grounded in some case of perceived threat. Hate is what? Grounded in perceived threat. People have been threatened for so many years. Hallelujah. When somebody places a threat upon your life, Hallelujah. That can bring you to the place of hit, hit, uh, hatefulness. Because your life is what you have. And you don't want to lose that. Hallelujah. And this person has threatened you. So for you to bounce back, you have to have a de defense mechanism uh, 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 in which that when, uh, uh, when this person comes, you'll be able to stand up. So people get to play and they get rage. He, he threatened me. Now I can, you know, I can sit. I have to do something quickly. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are threatened. Now, a man was slaughtered. A man was murdered. And what been murdered? The, the murder was the murderer was having fun. Somebody say amen. amen. That alone can bring a what a threat to others. And say so if we don't do anything, it's, they are coming for us too. Amen. We are the next target. Hallelujah. If you can take my brother life, take my sister life, then I'm going to be the next. So their anchor is built in because of the threat, the signal that have been sent for. Somebody say amen. And then people rise up and say it's time to protest. And in the protest, there's what? Destruction. Because anger is dead. Somebody say Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So it is an attitude that can be that can give rise to hostility and aggression towards individual. An attitude that gave right that gave right to hostility. What you see is hostility. What you see happening is hostility. An attitude which causes hostility in the life of the black. And they are taken to the street. And even the white are also joining. And they are destroying properties. We see this happening in his family. Somebody say amen. amen. One brother is against the other brother because he hit him. Hallelujah. Amen. And get into the place of hostility. That I want to take his life. The place of violence. I want to destroy him. I don't want to see him anymore. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Alright. What caused hate? Why do people hate? Why cause hate and why do people hate? Number one, feel envy. They feel envy and want what the other person has. I'm envious of you. Because what you have is what I want. You got a man that I think belongs to me. He not too good to be yours. He's too handsome to be yours. What can an other woman working with a fine man? Why the man said, take it on? Look, I'm in beautiful like this. Nobody can see me in a fine man walking with an ugly woman. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I want what you get. Mm -hmm. Can bring hatred. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've been in this, in this country for almost 25 years. I have worked, 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 but I don't have a 30 foot car. And she just comes with a nice car. Yeah. I want what you got. Yeah. Can bring what? Hatred. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your children are all looking beautiful, but when I bought my own, they look like go, go, go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stop. What is going on? Please. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. 
we are always supreme. They are inferior. So that child grows into that. When you see black now, when you promise you, Hallelujah. They put their head to the window and, 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 and the tissue. Oh, it's not happened to you. In Jesus, I don't know if it happened to you, but it happened to me before. Me too. No, no, no. You tell them when you tell them they are too. Oh. In Jesus. You see them through the window when they're ready. They smell the child. Yeah. Can you block them? They do all the things they do like that. But they do that to the super. Oh. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. They have been trained. They have been indoctrinated to a head. Hallelujah. If you remember the days where black had their own schools, the white had their own school, and just a mistake for a black child to enter a white school, all the white children look at them very meaningful, meaningfully. Hallelujah. Because they have been indoctrinated, they have been trained, they have, they have developed that dose, that pattern, that desire, that urge to hit black from their parents. Hallelujah. Amen. All from the community. Amen. We also see that happening in the family. We also see that happening in the family. Where a parent will, will let one child so much and make the child to be uh, the bigger person among the other, other friends. And, and, and that child begins to, to feel that the, the siblings are all inferior to her or to him. That child has been that in person and that child has been, been indoctrinated, that child has been, 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 been placed to a place where he see his siblings as only yeah. him or her. The parent did that to the child. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some parents, they will, I don't care how old the child, the child is growing, or the other, they will send the child down, the other children will save the child. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are teaching that child to be hateful. Or you teach the other person that you want. Yes. To that child. We can pass from parents, from community, and from different groups. Now, now, the next reason why people can be hit for, or people can have hate, is being humiliated or mistreated by another person. If you are humiliated and mistreated, it can develop a hate inside of you. Many years the black was humiliated. She was mistreated. Hallelujah. So that had left a stain upon them. And years after years, the same thing has been repeated. Somebody say amen. amen. There has been no change. It has, it has just taken on a new costume. Somebody say amen. amen. My friend, if you put me in, you put me in white costume. And you tell the worst you put me in black costume, I'm saying actually. Yes. Put me in brown, I'm still what? Ash. Whatever cost it can be the more expensive when you put me in, I'm still what? Ash. So that's what happened in here. Racism has been placed on in, a, in different costumes. Hallelujah. Amen. And people say it's changed, no more of it. But it's been placed in different costumes. Yes. So hatred is also developed, you have developed over the years, and now hatred is wearing different costumes. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. It has been in there, it has born in there, it, 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 it can't be here anymore. So it's coming out through violent. It's coming out through violent. But that's why we are, we are here to tell the world, to tell people out there, that's not the approach. Hallelujah. That's not the way to go. Somebody say amen. amen. That's not the way to go. That's not the approach. There's a better way to, to, to handle situation. Somebody say amen. Somebody say hey, amen. All right. Now, what are the effects of hatred? What does hate do? What are the effects? It brings bitterness. Hallelujah. Amen. When somebody is hated, the person who is hated, it brings what? Bitterness inside them. It brings anger. It brings resentment. It brings resentful emotional response. And that's what we see right now. It brings hostility. And eventually lead to death. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, on either side. Because something has caused them to bring to, to, to be hateful. And that's why they want the black to die. That's why they want to eliminate the black. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Now something is causing the black now with the black to be hateful too. Because we have been threatened, we have been treated wrongly, hallelujah. We have been abused. So that is causing the black over the years have caused them to rise up now in hate. In hate. And rising up there, they display emotional response. They display violent. Hallelujah. Amen. Anger. And because of the anger and the violence, people who are supposed to die are dying right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. People have been placed in the hospital because they, 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 they have been beaten. Why, why you know, the, 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 the protest is going on? Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Glory. Glory. Now, now, now. Now, the next thing here, what caused hate and anger? What caused it? When the trigger. Oh no, go get it. Let's go to the next one. What is the root? What is the root cause of hatred? The root cause of hatred. Rabbis Stenberg saw three main elements in hatred. A negation of intimacy, that is by creating distance when, when closeness has been threatened. Amen? Amen. When closeness has been threatened, it creates distance. If you and somebody were close and your closeness has been threatened, what happened? Distance is created. The person gets fired from, get fired away from them. And that can bring anger. And anger can, 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 can lead to what? Hatefulness in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The next one is infused an infusion of passion, such as fear of anger. When a person feel, feels fear, they feel, uh, their passion for, uh, for another person feels fearful, then anger is brought in. Alright? A decision to give value, a previous value object. Something that was value, value, valuable. It's been devalued. Something that you're, you're looking up to now. You don't look up to it anymore. Hallelujah. All right, what cause hate and anger? Why, why the trigger of each person may vary more said that there are some common causes of, of hate or anger, such as feeling unheard or unappreciated. When a person who has been merged, who has been submerged, when a person who has been depressed, when a person who, who, has, who, who, who has been treated wrongly and has not been heard, has not been appreciated, hatefulness grows. Hallelujah. Hatred is developed and begins to grow. Somebody say amen. amen. If they are not hearing them, like many of the cases today, we see black people being killed and justice are not given. They have not been heard. They have not been heard. People have been out there chanting they need justice. That the justice has not been given. Hallelujah. As compared, like this week, what was placed on this week? There was a white boy that was arrested who had, they have been looking for for so many years. He had been involved in three different homicides, three different uh, uh, murder cases. And they arrested him. The white boy arrested him. They sat him down. They gave him under the tree. They went to his back. Went to his place. So that, that one, it, it was on Facebook. Hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take care of him. Yeah. They put a head on him, but they, 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 they do the soft side. They not even hurt him. Yeah. And they went to his face with towel. Give him a cold under the drink. Hallelujah. Amen. When people have been tricked up uh, like that, from on the opposite side, then you will not have hit hit. But if you treat the black different and you treat the white different, and both of them are criminals, or both of them have done something wrong, so why will you favor one and don't favor one? Somebody say amen. Amen. That when the voice of the people are not heard, and they have been mistreated, when the voice of the people are not heard, and they've been stepped upon, but the first people have not heard and appreciated for what good they have done, yeah, hate develops. Hallelujah. Hate develops. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, another one. Lack of acceptance of situation and on need met. Lack of acceptance. When people don't feel accepted and their needs are not met, Compare the white community to the black community. See the development of both in the white community. We understand the law of their community, but most of the money comes from the government. Most of the, the projects and, and, and development that goes on in the white community are supported by the government. 
But why the black community is looking at uh, 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 trash? Why the schools are all looking at trash? When the people voice are not heard, when the needs are not met, you have hate. Amen. You have hate. You are hate. Hallelujah. Amen. And hatred can lead to death. Hallelujah. You visit this other child, you don't visit another child. That child is the one that can give you stuff, but the other child because you're not working, so you don't go there. But they're your children, they all grow they're in their homes. But if you have the, the desire to visit this one, you will visit another one just part of their position. Amen. Just part of the situation in life. Amen. When this child says something to you, because he doesn't have money, you don't listen to him. Yes. But when another child says something that he's supporting you, that's the one you hear. Mm. Whether it's a good or not a bad, that's the one you hear. Yes. Hallelujah. Hate can develop. Hate can develop. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, how do you get rid of hatred? Listen up. Every one of us are born to be strong one way or the other. How do you get rid of hatred? Number one, notice its presence. Notice the presence of hate in your life. Notice the presence of hate in the family. Notice, notice it all. Try to notice it. Number two, pay attention to the, the spiteful thoughts and words. Pay attention to the spiteful, the thoughts and words. The thoughts and words that come out of your mouth can tell you as to whether you are hateful. Hallelujah. Amen. What you say can tell you that there is a bit of hate inside of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to your thought. Listen to your words. Listen to your children talk. Listen to the words. Listen to family talks and your words. We know, we tell you that there's a little bit of hate here that is developing all that has been there. Somebody say amen. amen. All right? Number, number three. Identify the source. After you let me identify where it comes from. Identify that source. Number four. Explore which issue can set hatred into motion. What can really set you into motion, set that hatred into motion? What is that thing that when people do can set you up, can explore you, that you'll be more hateful? Hallelujah. Amen. Check to yourself now. That friend can go here and What is that main thing that when you say can make you so angry? No. Explore that. Explore that. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Don't offer them fuels by rationalizing why you think them. Now, while you are exploring to know what is the main trigger of your of the hit in your life, don't offer them fuels. The word fuel means the people in a, in a gas in a, in, a, in, a, in a car. Don't offer that gas. When you offer a gas or fuel, you will what? You, you, you give them more energy for the door. Don't offer it by thinking how you know this thing. No. You, the reason why you are you are rehearsing, you are going back to see where it came from and what it producing that is to what? To turn it to God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And the next one here, sit quietly and meditate on the word of God. After you have gotten to know what is the trigger, what is the source, where it comes from, sit and meditate on the word of God. And after you sit and meditate on the word of God, find scriptures that will help you in the situation. The scripture I will tell you is bad to, to, to hit someone. It's all good to love, forgive the enemy, all of a sudden. Find the scripture that will help you. Then for that you pray. Pray about it. Pray about it. Hallelujah. Present it to God. Tell him all about it. Because hate is destructive. It will destroy your life. It will destroy your future. It's not taking you anywhere. It will minimize your progress. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Every hateful person always go in cycle. You never go in front. You go in cycle. Somebody say amen. amen. Because you have been here for so many years. You were sure just somebody, so you just want to so, uh, about five, six years ago. But you still hold on to that thing. And because of that, you don't participate in what they do. You don't participate in what they say. You always get to say you get yourself, you resent yourself from them. And that is a trouble. Yes. It's not only with a person, but you, you yourself have a trouble. It's harmful to your growth. 
It's harmful to your physical growth. It's harmful to your spiritual growth. It can destroy you. Bring it to God. Leave it with God. Relax and let God bring healing. Relax and let God bring what? Healing. Sometimes we pray about it, but we, we don't relax. Yeah. We allow it to stay back inside of yeah. Relax, let God bring what? Healing. Let God bring healing. Relax, let God bring healing. In Jesus' name. Okay. What does the Bible say about hatred? Let's look at what the Bible says about hatred. First John 4, verse 20. What the Bible says about hatred? First John 4, verse 20. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a what? Liar! Yeah. <laughs> if anyone, let me say, oh, First John chapter 4, verse 20. If anyone say he loves God and hates his brother, hate his sister, he or she is a what? Liar! Yeah. You are a liar! Oh. The truth is not in you. You really don't love God. Hallelujah. If the American, the white come and say we are not racist, they are what? Liars. You can see it in your action. You see it in the air, in the words. In the eyes. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. For he who does not love his brother, who he has seen, how? Oh. Who he has seen cannot love God who he has not seen. If you love, if you do not love your brother who you walk together, you eat together, you go to the same church, you see every day on Gulen, you do some things together, you don't love them. The one you are not seen, you will not see until you get to heaven. That the one you love? You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a true liar. Somebody say hallelujah. First John chapter two verse nine. I'm giving you scripture. If I were you, I will. Uh, 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 anyway, it's recorded, so go back to it. But those scripture, you want to read them and read them again. First John chapter two verse nine. Whoever say he is in the light and hate his brother is stay in darkness. You are not being delivered from the power of darkness. You are staying in what darkness. You walk in darkness. You sit in darkness. You eat in darkness. You are going in darkness. How in the world? You are in what? Darkness. 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 Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. Verse 12 says, Get stir up. Storm. Get stir up strife. The law will cover all offenses. Get stir up strife. What it does is stir strife. Strong is there, but it's been so much. Strong is there, but it's not been paying attention to. But when hit enter, it's turned up. It's the place is it? there confusion. It's there what? Confusion. Love cover what? All the offense. When you love somebody, or you love God, my friend, as he say, when somebody offend you, love cover it. When somebody talk about you, love cover it. Amen. Hallelujah. To my Lord, about God, love cover it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Love cover it. Amen. When a man broke your heart, love cover that. Amen. You know how to say, until, except you, I didn't marry you. Except I'm born to it by you. Yes. Except yes. you live with me. Yes. Nothing else yes. God don't hear that prayer. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Because the only one God hear it, except you, I live with you. Where right? Amen. In Jesus' name. But the men are, you, you're, not, you're not better than the men, not better than you. Your both life is the same. Yes. And you jump in here and accept this one. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shout glory. Glory. Matthew 6, 15 says, But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespass. If you do not forgive others their trespass, how in the world do you expect for God to forgive you? How do you, how do you expect for God to forgive you? You don't forgive people. You hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, and you expect for God to leave your own. And not going nowhere. Just as you hold it, God hold it. Now, ho, ho, ho. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Leave it and God leave your own. Leave it with God. It doesn't mean you're stupid. Leave it with God. It doesn't mean you're foolish. Leave it with God. It doesn't mean you're mumu. Leave it with God. The person you live with God, they are the mumu. You don't know that? They are the mumu. Just by the reason that you did not encounter them, they are the mumu. Because their purpose is for you to encounter them. The purpose is to anger you so that you can lose your glory. So you can lose your peace. So you can lose your mind. But because you did not respond emotionally, eh? you know what happened? They become the word mumu. From today, I want, I want you to make it to be mumu. Amen. Make it to be what? Mumu. But now responding. Because what I want to get out of you is aggression. What I want you to do, what we want you to Anger. display is your frustration. They want to see how, how mature you are. Yeah. And you are there, say, oh, I mean, I, I'm not that mature, I'm stupid. Yeah. You take a fly. <laughs> you will say. Somebody say hallelujah. In Jesus' name. John 15, 18. If the world hates you, know that it, it has hated me before it hated you. Yes. Now, these are the scriptures that encourage me. If the world hates you, know that it, it, it hated me before it what? Hates you. Hmm. So who you do you are? They hated God. They hated his son. They hated the Holy Spirit. They hated you. And you, a child of God, do not hate you. Yes, if, if, if you want to get rid of the king, you think they will spare his son? Mm -hmm. okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. So you will be hated. But remember, God will not leave you. Amen. Remember, he will help you. Amen. Remember, he will support you. Amen. Remember, he will strengthen you. Amen. Remember, he is your, your covering. Amen. He's your shield. He's your protector. Amen. He's there with you in the midst of the heat. Yes. Ah, that's what people will not understand. Because he's there with you in the midst of the what? Hate. In the midst of the frustration of the black, God is there. In the midst of the disappointment of the black, God is there. God has kept them strong. And he's keeping them still strong. It's just the unstupid one, the foolish one, are messing up things for us. Hallelujah. We must let God fight this battle. We cannot fight it ourselves. Somebody say, Hallelujah. I know it's been too much. I know they've been so hurtful. I know they've been so bitter. And I bless God for those young men who made a difference this week. They are going from, 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 from store to store, from street to street, and erasing all the crazy words, and sweeping the place, the dead, the poor, erasing and making sure that the, the, what, whatever destruction that the put has brought, they are correcting it and telling the person, we are, we are people of, of value, people of, 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 of that have Character. words, we have sense, we have mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can be like that. Sell the difference. Show the difference. Hallelujah. If black life matters, then it even matters with God. Or oh, you didn't get it. If black life matters, then it what? Matters with God. If it matters with God, then God has your back. You cannot take the place of God. Let God fight for you. Amen. Let God fight for you, blacks. Amen. Let God vindicate you, black. Amen. Let God help us in the situation, black. Amen. Let God stand for us. Because when He stands, nobody can stand against us. Yeah. I'm speaking to you out there that, that are so rich. I'm speaking to you out there that are so violent. I'm speaking to you out there that are so crazy. Praise so much that you want to take my life. Hold your peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold your peace. God got your fight. Yeah. Hold your peace. God got your back. Hold your peace, God is with you. Amen. And let God do it for you. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, let me close it. When, when hatred enters your car, this is what happened to you. When hatred enters your car, this is what happened to you. You discuss yourself with your own lips. According to Proverbs 26, 24 to 26 that we read today, you disgust yourself with your own lip. That means your own lip are making you to look stink. Your own lip are making you to be ugly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. What happened now in the black community? Uh, the, the lips of the black community have made them to look ugly right now. Yeah. Everything was in our hands and it's still in our hands now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Until 
they started using using their mouths, their legs to bring destruction. To bring destruction. It is not about destruction. It is about speaking. When you speak, God hears. Hallelujah. Amen. So speak. Don't fight. The only way to fight is to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. And not violent. Not destruction of prejudice. Not destruction of life. Because God hears us. And because God hears us, He will perfect His will. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. He will perfect His will. Amen. Number two. You have harbor deceit in your heart. When hate, hatred enter your car, you have a deceit in your life. Yeah. Whatever you say should never be believed. The Lord should just say, whatever you say, nobody should believe you. Because you follow what? Deceit. Yeah. Then he said, you have seven abomination in your heart. People with hatefulness or hatred, they have what? Seven abomination. Seven sinful attitudes, sinful life written inside of them. They cover hatred, hatred with deceit. When they see the one that they hate, they will put smile on their face. They put like, hey, you're looking so nice, though. They ask me again, but are you looking so easy, weird, though? Wow. Somebody say amen. Yeah. So, so deceit. Yeah. So, so deceit. Yeah. My mother said, look, I should look at you. I'm not going to do that. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. They sing, what the Bible says. They pull up the sick. But I want what the Bible says in the scripture being ended. He said, they are wicked. They are very well wicked. They have covered their wickedness with deception. They cover them with lies. They are walking around wicked people. In fact, we look for witchcraft, they are the witchcraft. They are the one what? Witchcraft. But I think what the Bible ended. He said, they will be exposed. Yeah. They will be what? Exposed. That's what happened to the American today. That's what happened to the wrestling, the races today. They have been what? Exposed. They have been killing people so much, killing, taking life. They have now been what? Exposed. God allowed it to get this way so that the world will see that they are hateful. The world will see that they have been resentful. The world will see that they are taken at least the black and their mind is to kill black, to eliminate the black. They are exposed. Every hatred in your family will be exposed. Every hate in your family will be exposed. God will expose them one by one. One by one, one by one, one by one. He will expose them. If you believe that, jump on your feet and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 1, First John 2, 9 and 8 to 10. Now we read this morning. Whoever. No. Now we read this morning. First John 2, verse 11. I read this morning. This is what it says. Now we happen to those that allow you to enter your car. You are in the darkness. You are in what? The darkness. You are walking in darkness. You're not only in the darkness, but you're walking in what? Darkness. You, you do not know where you're going. And because, because of that, you are totally blind. So people who are hit for, or who allow him to enter their car, they are blind. They are living in darkness. They are walking in darkness. Their eyes have not found the truth. And the truth is love. If you find love, love will heal you. If you find love, love will never disappoint you. Love will heal your wounds. And that's what the black community name would be love. Now listen to me, you cannot find love from the people around you. Because the one that you are you most trusted to give it to you will, 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 will disappoint you. Yeah. You can find love in Jesus. Amen. You can find love where? In Jesus. He's available to share his love. Amen. The hands, hands are open wide to receive you when you are hurt. The hands are open wide to receive you when you hurt most. And he will give you love that will cover the wounds, that will cover the hurts. It doesn't matter how long they've been there for my black brothers. 
Let's not have Lord, not, uh, it doesn't matter how long you've been there, my black sisters. The love of God will wipe away every offense. It will wipe away every tear. It will wipe away every bitterness. It's time to let go. It's time to let go and let go. Let God take precedent of our lives. Let take precedent of our homes, our family. It's time to let go. It doesn't matter who killed your husband, who killed your, your, your brother, who killed your sister. Let go and let God heal the wounds in the name of Jesus. Let God heal the wounds in the name of our Jesus. Let him heal the world and heal our lives. We know by the name of Jesus. Somebody start glory. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, let, let me just end right here now. I can't say otherwise. Let me just skip a few things. Let me just end right here. End right here. This is what is expected of us. This is what is expected in the time of faithfulness, in the time of hate. This is what is expected of us. All right? Uh, six, uh, 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 Luke 6, 27 to 36. But I said to you, who hears? I said to you, who hears? That means people who, who have good, who, who can hear. He's speaking to us that can hear. I said to you, who hears? Love your enemy. Yeah. Tell them, what's the neighbor? neighbor? Love your enemy. Love your enemy. You don't say that you mean a neighbor. Neighbor. My real neighbor. My real neighbor. My sister in Christ. My sister in Christ. Yeah, brother, say, brother. My sister in Christ. My sister in Christ. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Do good to those that hate you. Do good to those that hate you. Bless those who curse you. Turn the left cheek to the one that, 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 that hit the left and right cheek. Turn the left cheek to the one that hit the right cheek. Then I get a good blow. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. So that, that's the instruction for us. But let me just end it. Let me just end it. To, to who struck you on the... On, on the cheek or for the other. And for the one who takes away your, your cloth to, uh, to withhold your, your toilet either, give to everyone who bear from you. And from you who takes away your goods, and for those who took away your goods, do not demand them back. And and as you wish that others will do to you, do unto others the way you wish. Now, as I close, I want to leave you with these words. Love your enemy. Love your what? Do mm -hmm. good to those that hate you. Those that despise you, show them the love of God. They don't know the love of God. They have not experienced the love of God. When you show them the love of God, trust me, I know it becomes so difficult. People are thinking in your mind, I think I do that. But trust me, if you desire it, you find you desire it, God can give it to you. God will give you the heart of love. You will show those who really despise you love. And through that thing you show it to them, you can win them over to Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. My friend, being here for all year round will not do any good for you. It will hasten your death. Hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. It will destroy you. Show them love. Show them love. Do good to those that hate you. Love your enemy. Pray in your heart. Start praying for them. Amen. Like that you start praying for them. Start a heart of love for them. Yes. See them beyond what they see you. Hallelujah. Amen. See, no, listen to me. Some people they 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 they, 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 they pray so much. Even once my dad from there, they don't even go and sit down with them. Those are the, the personal opportunities head of to rekindle the relationship. Head of Hallelujah. Amen. Be able to rise up above this hate. Be able to rise up above this hatred, this bitterness. Be able to rise up. The reason why some of us are still fighting on certain things that we want to be given in our life is that we are holding up to certain things. Hallelujah. When we rise above those things, what we're looking for will just come down. It will just come down. Hallelujah. We will just fall in our hands. So I, 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 I challenge you. I give you the opportunity. I, give, I, I ask God to, to release you. I ask God to uplift you. Mm. So you, your eyes will be open. Because the devil will keep you blind. Mm. He will keep you in the darkness. Yes, Listen to me. There are people who are sinking in the Holy Ghost and they are staying in the dark. Mm. Because they are holding somebody at heart. There are somebody, somebody who put it on the pulpit and they are still walking in the dark. Mm. Because they are still deceitful. See, deceitful of holding somebody in your heart. Mm. Until you let that sister go. No matter what she did to you, until you let that brother go, no matter what, what he did to you, my friend, your life can never be better. Hmm. So enjoy the sweet love of God, the sweet fellowship, 
the Holy Spirit, to enjoy the peace of God, to enjoy the love, that the agape love, that you fall in love and you just feel a baby in this person, is to let that go. Amen. And when you let it go, God will bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Don't let Mr. Hate in your car. Let him get out. Let him get out. Mr. Hate, step out of that boy man car and she's going to release you. Until he get out of your car, there can be no relief. When he get out of your life, there can be no relief. When he is in your life, there can be no relief. Until he get out of your car, out of your life. There's no relief. Thank you. Papa, 